For more information about LCRC's online CPA review, pakibasa na lang ng nakalagay sa description box below. Okay, na-compute natin na ang break-even point in pesos is 400,000. Ngayon naman, gagawin ulit natin itong pagkukompute ng break-even point in pesos using another method ng pagsusol. Wherein, i-consider natin yung contribution margin ratio ng per product and yung tinatawag natin na sales mix or yung mix of products sold in determining the weighted average contribution margin ratio. Okay, i-determine muna natin yung um, CM ratio ng bawat um, product. Sa product A, 40,000 contribution margin divided by 100,000 sales. Therefore, the contribution margin of product A is 40%. So, product B, 60 divided by 240 equals um, 25%. Product C, 50,000 contribution margin divided by sales of 250,000. Uh, the contribution margin ratio of product C is 20%. Okay, lagay natin dito. Okay, contribution margin per unit. Lalagay natin yung contribution margin ratio. So, pwede rin dito, 40 divided by 100, yun ay 40% contribution margin. Um, product B, 30 divided by 120, that is 25 10 divided by 50, that is 20%. Okay. Na-determine na natin yung contribution margin ratio ng product A, B, and C. Next na natin gagawin is yung tinatawag na um, sales mix. I-determine natin yung sales mix ng product A, B, and C. Lalagyan natin dito ng or Meaning, ito yung solution in determining the break-even point in pesos, which is 400,000. Or, yung gagawin nating solution para ma-determine yung break-even point in pesos. So, consider natin yung um, CM ratio. Nagyan nito. Um, CMR. CMR means contribution margin ratio. We have A. Um, B and C. Okay. Contribution margin is 40%. Product A, 25%. Product B, product C is 20%. Ayan. I-multiply natin ang contribution margin ratio sa sales mix rate or sales mix ratio. Ang sales mix ratio ay ayan yung mix of product sold. Mix of sales mix means mix of product sold and sales mix, it, it can be Pesos, sales mix in pesos, or sales mix in units. So, for example, sales mix ng product A, B, and C in pesos. Ang total sales is 590,000 pesos. Okay, sales mix or yung mix of product sold. Therefore, ang sales mix is 100 thousand sa product A, 240,000 sa product B, and um, 250,000 sa product C. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung sales mix ratio na yan, i-consider natin yung ratio ng sale per product compared sa sale in 
total. So, lalagay natin dito yung computation ng sales mix in um, pesos. Ito yung product. Then, ito yung sorry, uh, fraction and yung uh, percentage. Product A, B, C. Okay, sales mix. Sa product A, total sales niya ay 100,000. over total sales 590,000 Pag kinonvert natin ito sa percentage ay 16.95% percent Product B, 240,000 divided by 590. Pag kinonvert natin to sa percentage, that is 40.68%. Product C, 250 divided by 590,000 pesos that is 42.37 rounded 16.95 plus 40.68 plus um, 40 42.37 equals 100% ibig sabihin nun sa 590,000 na total sales ng company 16.95 dyan is sales pertaining sa product A. Benta ng product A. 42.68 naman yung pertaining sa product B. And 42.37% naman yung product C. So, ito yung sales mix rate ng company in terms of pesos. So 16.95% ng total sales ay para kay ay attributable kay product A, 40.68 ng total sales ay kay product B, 42.37% ng total sales total sales ay from product C. Ngayon pag multiply natin yung dalawang yan. Kung ito ang sales mix at ito ang kanyang um, contribution margin ratio. Therefore, the weighted average contribution margin ratio ng product A is 40% times 16.95. That is 6. 0.78% Product B 25% times 40.68 That is 10.17% And 20% times 40.37% Equals 8.47% Therefore the weighted average contribution margin ratio is 6.78 plus 10.17 plus 8.47 equals weighted average contribution margin ratio is 25.42% which is same siya nung na compute natin kanina doon sa una nating alternative na pagko-compute ng 
contribution margin ratio. Then, magpo-proceed yung same formula. Fixed cost divided by weighted average contribution margin. The answer is still 400,000 pesos. Break even point. Okay, ngayon ang gagawin natin is checking tayo nung nakuha nating break even point in pesos which is 400,000 pesos. The overall break even point in pesos is 400,000 pesos. Ngayon check natin siya kung tayo ay mag-a-arrive sa profit na zero dahil yan yung break even point. Ngayon, ito ay overall break even point. Paano kapag ang tanong is Break even point in sales pesos for product A. Break even point in sales in pesos for product B and C. Paano natin nahatian itong 400,000 into product A, B, and C? Para makuha natin yung kanilang um, corresponding break even point in pesos. Ngayon gagamitin natin yung sales mix na na-compute natin. Ito. Sales mix, so kay product A is 16.95%, meaning 16.95% ng sales ng company is from product A. Product B is 40.68%, product C is 42.37%. 400,000 times 16.95 is 67,000. 800 400,000 times 40.68 is 162,720 400,000 times 42.37% equals 169,000 480 pesos. Okay. Next is variable cost. Followed by contribution margin. Ang contribution margin ng product A is ito, 40%. Kung 40% ang contribution margin ratio ng product A Therefore, the variable cost is 60%. Sales ay 100%. 60% times 67,800 is 40,320. Contribution margin is 27,120. Product B, contribution margin is 25%. Therefore, 75% ang variable cost ratio over sales. 75% times 162,720. That is 122,040. 25% ng 162,720 is 40,680. Product C, contribution margin ratio is 20%. Therefore, the variable cost ratio over sales is 80%. 80% ng 169.480 is 135.584 pesos. Contribution margin is 33,800. 196 Okay 27,120 Plus 46,80 Plus 33,896 Equals 101,696 um, Total variable cost is 297,944 Okay Nakompute na natin ang contribution margin per product and yung contribution margin overall 
Next, minus the fixed cost. The fixed cost is 101,680. Mag-aaray ba tayo sa zero profit? Um, 101,696 minus 101,680. That is 16 pesos. So, may 16 pesos. Hindi tayo nag-arrive sa zero. 16 pesos yung ating profit. Dahil, due to rounding off ng mga percentage na ginamit natin, which is yung sales mix rate. But still, ang answer natin is 400,000 pesos, break-even point. Lagyan na natin ng final answers dito. The company break-even point in pesos is, ang sagot ay 400,000 pesos. Ngayon, lagyan natin ng breakdown dito. Break-even point for product A is 67,800. Break-even point in pesos for product B is 162,720. Product C, break-even in point in pesos for product C is 162,720. 69,480 So, tapos na tayo sa problem or sorry, sa question number 1 Sasagutin natin is The company's break-even point in units is So, break-even point ulit ng multi-product calculations Break-even calculations pero in units 